What's up, everybody? Go to six five here. I'm here to talk about, well, Chris freaking Boyd, dismissed from the Vanderbilt football program, football team, whatever you want to say. V U S B. He's dismissed. He's done. And his senior year, he can't complete it. He's done. Subsequently, when I heard the news yesterday, I was saddened, but I've had a little bit more time to reflect on it and think about it, and it's probably the right kind of deal. I get, like I said, I said it before right after I heard this news and the news made national headlines. I said about the rape case with four other idiot freshman teammates. I said before that Chris Boyd, he was just, you know, just trying to help his teammates and not get them in any trouble and keep them on the team and try to blow this whole this disgusting situation off. That shows how much he cares about his teammates, but then again, it's wrong. When your teammates do something wrong like they did, sexual assault like that, raping, that's disgusting. And it disgusted me, it disgusted the university, it disgusted, I'm sure, the coaches and the players. But I thought maybe, because Chris Boyd is on probation now, and he will be on it for a year, and after the year of probation is up, this whole incident of him trying to help his teammates cover up the incident, the whole incident of that will be wiped away permanently from his criminal record. So that's good for Chris Boyd. That will be deleted from his criminal record after a year of probation. I thought, and you probably can, but I thought, if anybody knows their laws better than me, just correct me. I thought, you know, he's on probation, but he's still allowed to go to school at Vanderbilt. He has not been suspended by the university. So if he decides to keep enrolling in classes and taking his classes at Vanderbilt and tries to graduate and get his bachelor or master or whatever degree he's going for, probably bachelor's or something like that since he's on this football team, I don't know. Whatever he's going for, you know, if he's on probation, he can still attend the school. It's not like he's on house probation or anything like that. It's not that far. I mean, he didn't actually involve himself in the incident and the rape and all that, but uh, I thought he could still play on the football team, but uh, obviously Vanderbilt with his guilty plea of actually trying to help cover up what happened for his four other teammates, uh, Vanderbilt University decided yesterday and the coaches and everybody decided to dismiss him from the football team. Like I said at first, it saddened me, but I guess it's the right thing to do. I mean, he's trying to help, and that's good in a way because they're your friends, they're your teammates, they're just here on campus, a bright future ahead of them at VU, and they do that, and you're trying to help them out, and you're trying to not let this situation cause trauma and drama and whatever and let it be known, and you're trying to tell them to delete this picture and cover it up. I get that, but then again, it's wrong. And I'm not saying you need to exploit it, but maybe just steer your way out of that situation. And if they get caught, they get caught. And obviously they got caught anyway, even with Boyd trying to help cover it up. It was just a nasty situation. It was ridiculous. The four players, thank God, they're suspended from the university and all that. Chris Boyd, I feel somewhat bad for him, but then again, I really can't. Because he knew that what he was doing could risk him trying to cover up a a crime, a disgusting one. So, you know, with that being said, I feel bad for Chris Boy. He didn't take place in it. He was just trying to help his teammates cover it up, but it's disgusting. And I don't know. It's just a sucky, horrible situation. It's ongoing. The investigation, everything. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess in the end, as much as it disheartened me, in a way yesterday because Chris Boyd is one of my favorite players, the Fly Boys, man. But uh, as much as it disheartened me, it was probably the right decision. You know, when it popped up on the news and that he was permanently dismissed, I thought maybe he'd come back halfway through the season and play, but that's not the case. And I'll do respect maybe at other universities, but Vanderbilt's just not going to allow that to happen, you know, and they just dismissed him from the team. I don't know. Feel bad for him, but it's the right thing to do. On the bright side of things, 
on the bright side of things, the black and gold Commodores got two easy victories coming their way. They go up to Foxborough, take on the UMass Minutemen, then come back down Nashville for two weeks to welcome in the UAB, whatever they are. I think they might be the Blazers. I'll look it up. But anyway, sucky situation, but Chris Boyd has been dismissed from the Vanderbilt football team.